Good morning, everyone. This is Chris. Happy Saturday. I wanted to do a brief video. I'm taking a break. I'm actually at work right now. Um, I took a break for a few minutes to have a coffee. I wanted to let you all know how supportive uh, you have been in regards to my video that I posted last night about psychic attacks and... Um, Sorry, I had to shut the door about psychic attacks and what happened to me in my experience. I've gotten some really amazing messages from people wondering if I'm okay and thanking me for letting them know I was okay and if I was going to be posting any of my astrology readings yet for the month of February. So, update Tuesday, I will start uploading the March readings. Um, and then I am going to work on an outline for um, a series of videos in regards to paranormal terms, uh, psychic terms, abilities, what they are, because I've gotten a lot of questions about what's intuition, what's um, clairaudience, what's clairvoyant mean, different things like that. And also, if I get enough response in regards to this documentary, movie, whatever you want to call it, I will do a series of videos of my review and also information in regards to can a spirit hurt you? Um, I've heard that the person who made the film from a friend of mine, who I hold very dear to me, she told me that he had said that watching the movie can cause you harm you can bring things home to you so I want I want to touch base on a lot of those things so if you're interested in me answering a specific question if you've watched the movie please email me at parlaydespirit at gmail.com and put the subject matter demon house question or subject or whatever you want to do um and if you have any other questions you want to ask me that you want me to touch base on in a video or a video log on Tuesdays, let me know. I think what I'm going to do is Tuesday I'll upload the first few astrology readings and my Tuesday video log. And then Thursday I will download more astrology videos and then I will give you an update of the Demon House uh, review. And then also... Um, my series that I will be doing on um, necromancy, which is basically spirit communication. What tools people have used in history, mythology, and what I use, and what the difference is between a psychic, a medium, and a clairvoyant, and uh, also give you answers to the questions that a lot of people ask me um, that are misinformed by all these shows and I'm not saying every show is like that but many people don't realize that a lot of the shows that are out there are all about sensationalism and about ratings so also I need to put a disclaimer to anytime you watch any of my videos it's about my experience in the 30 plus years of me being this way or actually 40 years because I'm gonna be 50 this year so 47 years of me being able to talk to the dead. I think that's a really long time and I've learned so much. So my disclaimer is that this is all based on my experience with the dead, my experience in the paranormal, my experience as a clairvoyant, my experience with demonology. And the reason why I'm not going to say I'm an expert, but I'm very well versed in demonology because I was Roman, strict Roman Catholic for 35 years of my life. So I'm very well versed in the Bible, very well versed in the church. Um, yeah, 35 years of going to church. I mean, and when I went to school, at Catholic school, I went every single day. So I'm very well versed and I did a ton of research when I walked away from the church on demonology and then coincided with my paranormal experience, my supernatural experience, and then of course, my ties to the other side so I really feel um, and I'm gonna put on this video that the more and more as I I tend to not watch a lot of these shows 
there's a few that I really do like. I am starting to get extremely annoyed with a lot of them and it's very hard for me to watch through them because they are putting people at risk and the whole point of a reel, and I'm not judging anybody, I'm really not, this is my personal opinion, a genuine paranormal investigator and someone who really, really wants to experience it and show that it's real is more concerned about the well-being and um, safety of not only their co-paranormal group, meaning me and my group, whoever I go in with, as well as the residents of the either house, residence, location, or wherever the building is, whoever works in it, whatever the case may be. That's my first concern. Um, and protection. And I think a lot of people go into these places and they don't think of that. And it doesn't matter what path you follow. Every path has some form of protection from negative entities. Religion has it. Shamanism has it. Native Americans have it. Um, all kinds of different spiritual paths have it. If you look back in history, especially shamanism, Native Americans, who I have my ancestry in, we had huge amounts of different protection, but also too, the Native Americans embraced spirits from the other side, and we never pissed them off, um, and we honored them, so I feel like a lot of these people go into these situations and piss off a negative entity and so the negative entity was someone who was negative in life and now is negative in death so um, and the only way that negative entities can survive is by feeding off of negative people's energy so um, I'm looking forward to seeing your questions and comments because I really feel like People need to know the tools to protect themselves and what can really harm them and what can't. So um, it really, really, truly, I really, I thought I heard somebody talking. I really feel like I wish personally I had enough money to do a show where it was me and just someone that I trusted with a camera to go to places that these shows have gone to that have left people with no help meaning they went in they videoed they captured what they captured put it on film told them what they needed to do and then left and never checked on them never helped the people and the people have more activity now or had to move out of the house or whatever the case may be I feel like also too I feel like there should be something out there that shows people what's real and what's not and I don't think people do that because they don't want to step on other paranormal uh, people's names and, and psychics' names and mediums' names and say, hey, by the way, so-and-so is fake or by the way, so-and-so is lying to you. I would never do that either. However, from my experience and what I'm seeing, I will never say a name of a person or what I feel is real or not, but I'm not going to lie to anyone out there about what's real and what's not real, in my opinion and with my half of my life or more experience. So I look forward to all your comments. I feel like crap today. My allergies are really, really bad. I'm leaving here in a little while and I'm going to the grocery store and then I'm going home to make some French onion soup for me. And then I'm going to feed the puppies and then I have to clean a fish tank and then I have to do some laundry and we're supposed to get a really bad storm today so my anxiety is a little high for those of you who know me know I have PTSD and weather phobia and the PTSD is triggered from water and flooding and so when I get when storms like this are getting ready to come I get very high anxiety um, and it's something that I have to work on all the time just like uh, some of the people that I've met on here that have anxiety who understand and have PTSD there's no rhyme or reason to what your triggers are to other people they don't quite understand and a lot of us I'd say 90% of the people I've met that have PTSD and anxiety like I do are overweight um, it's because it messes with your adrenal gland it messes with your thyroid it messes with your metabolism so you fat shamers out there shame on you because you don't know that person's life why they're overweight so I just 
wanted to put that out there. You could tell my rosacea is really bad. That's usually the first thing that goes when I get like this. Um, and I've barely been eating lately, which is not good. Um, I actually bought myself a cooler that's three tier. I mean, I'm sorry. Is it a cooler? Is it called a cooler? A thermos. I'm sorry. A three tier, three tier thermos. Um, to keep my soup in at the bottom, the bigger one, and then the middle one I'll put like my rotisserie chicken or my chicken salad or whatever I make, and then a snack on the top. And I've been using that. However, lately I haven't really had many groceries in the house because I didn't have money to go grocery shopping. And plus I need to clean the refrigerator out. And see, this is not to, the reason why I don't smile very much. Do you see my teeth? This is from 25 plus years being on asthma medication when I was younger and steroids, specifically prednisone. And they found out that two of the medicines for the asthma cause bone loss. And so now I have osteo in my jaw and I smoked. So no matter how healthy I, I ate, I used to I get tartar and I have very bad teeth. However, since I started eating clean, I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic. Since I started eating clean, many bone broths, garlic, ginger, onions, all the vitamins and minerals, which I have to start doing again because I ran out, uh, doing the coconut oil swish in my mouth, as well as using colloidal silver, as you, well as using clove oil with my toothpaste that I make myself, as well as dimaceous dirt in my toothpaste and baking soda and peppermint oil. My teeth are much better than they were. I have a crack in the back of my tooth that it's getting better because you can remineralize your teeth. It's really hard to do, however you can do it because bone does grow back even though they don't tell you that. Um, so I just wanted to share that's why I don't smile because I get a lot of people that comment, oh smile, smile. I do smile, but I cover my teeth because I'm ashamed. And I can't afford to go to the dentist to get all of this fixed. I just can't. So, unfortunately, that's part of living the life that I live. So, anyways, and today I actually have to go get my nails redone because they are really bad. But hopefully, maybe I'll go after here and then go to the grocery store. I'm just really tired. Anyways, I hope you all have a great Saturday. And like I said, thank you everyone who's emailed me or commented wondering where I've been. It really makes me feel wonderful that you care and that I have so many amazing subscribers. And I love you guys. Have a blessed day.